Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ingus and I'm from IGS Electronics and I'm hoping you're having a good day and today we are going to be finishing off this guy down there, Eaton DE1 drive, where we're going to be checking out the drive with two more uh, control stations, we're going to be checking out the drive with the up and down control, which is MLP or electronic way of controlling your frequency, with the two push buttons and also we're going to be checking out multi-frequency setup. It is pretty interesting drive when it comes down to this guy in here, with this kind of setup, if you're looking for something simple and you don't want to go mess around with all these fancy dancing things, you want to just plug things on and, and get them going and and don't want anything uh, anything to to do with the uh, commissioning and all things like that. It is as easy as you can get. So it is very very simple drive, and then I'm uh, hoping you by with these two videos I have created is giving you a good understanding how to use this drive and uh, pretty much it gets you going and uh, more or more or less makes you understanding how the things work. So. That's what we're doing today. If you missed the last video, that video is going to be in the description below and also all the related videos and any other thing that I would think would benefit you in a possible way will be in the description below. So without further ado, let's get started. We are so uh, for our first station. Let me just take this guy off if I can get it off. So uh, if you look at, uh, let me just tell him to zoom in a bit, here we go. If you look in here, we have several options for up and down control. So that's what the first thing we're going to be doing, up and down control, which is or MLP control. There's like forward, up, and then there's a preset speed or down. There is another option in here, up and down. And there's this six option. This is the option that I'm going to be going over. run forward, run reverse, up and down control so that will allow you to change your speed and plus you, plus you will have your forward reverse but as you can see there's a couple of options you can have and are going to be running at uh, option six so that's what we are, are going to be doing uh, now so for this control station which is going to look pretty much like so so uh remember when you change something so uh if you move around so move it onto the six and hold your set button so it uh, starts flashing and it goes back to solid green and you're ready good to go so that's when it comes down to actual uh preset that's all you really need to do so to get this thing going so that's pretty good from that point of view when it comes down to wiring as you can see in there as you can sometimes see it flashes like that don't worry about that and this is most likely is sometimes losing some form of i'm, I'm not really sure what i did but i, I would presume that it's it, it because these these dials in here they're not really like clicking into positions so i presume that's what's causing them to do it because it's not we can you can move around a little bit so nevertheless uh when it comes down to wiring as you can see terminal uh 10 uh it's because uh, uh 10 volts in here is coming to our e-stop in here through a e-stop and again distributes the power to all our normally close off normally open contacts our first normal open contact goes digital input one which is a speed uh, uh run forwards uh, digital input 2 is going to be our, our run reverse, digital input 3 is going to be a run uh, speed up and uh, digital input 4 is going to be a speed down as you can see if you have watched the last video the the whole um, uh, the, 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 the frequency point in a digital input 4 has changed to different so that's more or less like a multi thing you can do so why you keep flashing around like a crazy Let's see if we can uh, solidify. Yeah, it'll be alright. So uh, when it comes, uh, let me just put on the cover and I quickly show you uh, how these up and down speeds work and what uh, uh, what makes them go up and down, uh, what sort of accelerations they use. Before we get started, I quickly show you the wiring diagram. As you can see in here, is this guy in here? So this is pretty much our wiring diagram, which I just show you how that wiring works. So here we are. This is our station in here. So. As you can see, nothing happens as soon as you put in a run signal because he's, he's, he's looking for a speed. So as you click the button, speed's going up. As you can see, it goes up really sensitive. It's, it's because it's to do with your acceleration. Your up and down buttons are going to be very much responding exactly how you set up your acceleration. My acceleration at the moment, as you can see down here, let me just stop there. At the moment, it's sitting in one second. So let's change that to... Uh, Let's put that at a let's let's put a 10 seconds just for just for the fun of it. So obviously let's load it in. So here we go. So now check it out how the buttons are working. So as you can see now I'm holding and it's going up slowly. 
Here we go, and the same is gonna come down as well for this uh, for uh, downward speed. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is really easy. again, as you can see down here, that will lock each other out again. And as you remove it, it, it completely uh, removes what frequency it was, so you have to start again. So again, that most likely can be adjusted in parameters if you get yourself a uh, 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 external uh, control uh, controller or control panels like a display. So, and that, ladies and gentlemen, will be actually it for this uh, station. Hopefully, it's giving you a good understanding how that works and, and uh, what does up and down mean in a, in a, in a actual manual itself. So, as you can see, let's uh, make sure it, it, the acceleration, the acceleration will be very much will be uh, determining your uh, sensitivity of up and down buttons. So next, let's check out how the multi-frequency works. As for the multi-frequency, we're gonna be using option mode two. So you can see in here, just, we're gonna have a forward reverse. We're not gonna be using the reverse, but we're gonna be using a bit selection zero and bit selection one. So uh, I'll show that in a minute how those bit selections work if you've never done that before. But as you can see down here, this is, this is the confusing part in here because Low, low, and when you put in a run signal, it's controlled by default with this guy in here, but yet this says in here it's going to be 20, 20 hertz. So presume there is something needs to be done with the uh, parameters. You can see that there's parameter 20, 21, 22, and 23. These can be, uh, these uh, frequencies can be changed if you uh, have external control panel or connected to your laptop. So by, by default, your uh, basically your first speed is gonna be a, um, a 30, 40, and then as you can see, for, uh, 50 respectively. And as you can see, high, low, low, high, and high, high will achieve those uh, speeds. And this is exactly what we're gonna be doing down there. But the first speed, the run speed, uh, it's actually be gonna be controlled by this guy in here. So uh, let's put, uh, let's have a look at this. Uh, wiring the way I've done it in here. So uh, for every speed to work, which already we mentioned before, we need to have run signals. And this is what we're gonna do in here. As you can see down there, this guy in here, it's like 10 volts are coming to our e -star. From there on, it goes across to all the uh, normally open contacts. As you can see, there's quite a few of them in this because this guy in digital input one is gonna be a run signal. Digital input two, if you wish to have reverse, you can have reverse. But then we have digital input uh, three, and then we have digital input four, which is a speed a bit one and bit two. And there we have another two selected switches in here, which will join these bits together, which I already show you. Remember the, to achieve high high, you need to close these uh, these two signals uh, to, together. And that's exactly what we're achieving in here. This one in here is joining to this one, and this one in here is joining to that one. So that will create our third speed. But there's obviously you can achieve more if you have a, a little control panel that you can purchase uh, from Eaton or for any uh, Eaton uh, distributor to uh, achieve a uh, bit more to it. Because this driver can do a lot more to it if you have a external key a keypad for it. We might cover it one day, but most likely not for this guy because there's other, there's a DE11, I think. We might be probably gonna uh, use that one on DE11 in the future. So let me put it on the cover on and I'll show you how that works. So the cover is on, so this is what it looks like. And this is what I, let me put in a run mode now. As you can see, I put in a run mode. It runs sort of at that speed. By the what we just seen in the graph, that should be at 20 hertz. It's not really 20 hertz because I'm not sure am I missing something in here or not, but if you see down there, I can adjust that run signal with this fixed pre, uh, fix preset in here. So let's uh, load that in. Oh, we've done it too early. Oh, we've done it. I presume we've done it. So uh, as you can see in here, and now it's running slower. So this 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 run signal is not preset. So it is controlled by this fixed frequency uh, dial in here, which is good if you want to have a, a run signal. So once the run signal is on, and you want to land, no, 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 I need a speed. So here we go. And that's uh, that's uh, it is 30 hertz in here, and that will be your 30 hertz in here. And by doing that, that's going to be your 50 hertz. Now you can achieve exactly the same thing if you close these two together. It's pretty much is the same as that and that. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how a preset of frequency, three speed preset frequency, would work with this kind of setup on this specific drive. Again, that that confusion. Um, I know I've done different uh, Eaton drives before. 
and then there was a selection in parameters needed to do so make sure you take that run signal as a preset but uh, obviously can't, I'm not sure what is going on there so uh, other than that ladies and gentlemen uh, that will do for this drive I covered the most of the stations the only station I did not cover is a 3 wire control which again it most likely can be set up via via the parameter changes but we can't have access parameters to with uh, this uh, controller in here so I'll try to stick to this controller alone because if you guys buying this drive and you're looking for something very simple this is the way to go so and that ladies and gentlemen if you have any questions do ask them a question and a question uh, well, comment section below don't forget to like the video and subscribe if you do like what we're doing here and uh, other than that thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video